Welcome to Capital Cash Flow, teaching you how to safely invest your capital into cash flowing assets. Here is your host, Abraham Anderson. Welcome to Capital Cash Flow, show 22. This is your host, Abraham Anderson. Today, I'm going to cover all the software that I use to run the property management company that we're currently at 500 lots, soon we'll be at 622. There are eight pieces of software that I use on a daily or weekly basis in order to manage the managers and the parks themselves. So getting into it with number one here is Rent Manager. It is a property management piece of software that does a few things. The main items I use it for is you put all your tenants in there and it tracks exactly who's paid and who hasn't paid. One cool thing you can do with it is like on the sixth of the month, let's say, when rent is considered late, with a couple clicks, it'll generate all your late notices. And then you give those to your manager, or better yet, have them generate them themselves, print them off, post them. At a glance, you can see who is paid and who hasn't paid through the software. You can also run reports such as profit and loss, expenses, vacancy, all of that. It's pretty neat. It does a lot of stuff, or you can just use it to do the minimum, which is a lot of times what I do. It costs uh, two different things. If you want to just have it to where, for the payment side of it, they can pay at the store in person, tenants, it's $75, or it's $150 if you want the online payments set up as well. Number two is Zego, Z-E-G-O. And this is comes with Rent Manager if you sign up for either one of those. This is critical to my management system at our company here. What it does, it allows you to essentially automate the rent collection side of the the monthly to-do list. So essentially, tenants can pay with either cash or debit card at several thousand locations, including Walmart, Kroger, and other locations. It automatically adds late fees on the sixth of every month or whenever your due date is. You can set it to turn off payments for specific tenants, let's say they're under eviction and you don't want them to make a $10 payment to mess up your eviction, you can turn it off. When someone does make a payment, it automatically gets deposited into your bank account. And you can set it up to where tenants will pay all of the fees, such as they can pay with a credit card even if they want, but they have to pay the 3% or so fee that goes along with that. The way we have it set up is we have the tenants pay all the fees except for if they pay online with a bank draft, we pay the fee which is a dollar. And we, so we give them one free way to pay. Every other way they have to pay, for example, at the store, they pay, cost them four dollars, the rent goes into your bank account. Number three is rentalresearch.com. This is what we use to do all the background checks. So how we do it is when a resident applies, someone wants to rent a lot, buy a mobile home from us, we have them fill out a application, sign it. We charge them $50 per adult for the application. And the check to do it through rental research, and there's other websites you can do it through, is anywhere from $22 to $30. The reason why we charge more than what it actually costs us is a few reasons. Number one is you don't want to be working for free, nor do you want your managers, basically you're paying them by the hour, you want to make something for the time it takes to process these applications and call their references and things like that. So the other reason is that you don't want to make it such a low barrier to entry where anyone will apply. If there's a fee, let's say $50 in this case, then you will kind of eliminate some tire kickers that aren't going to get approved anyway. And our criteria is no prior evictions and no violent criminal history. And we'll do a future episode on screening residents and prospective tenants uh, just to go further into depth with that. 
So yeah, rental research, there's other ones out there. We like them. So moving on to number four is Nextiva. Nextiva is what we use to get a separate phone number for each of our parks. The cool thing about it is it is entirely cloud-based. You can use it from your phone. For example, you can have calls routed to your phone. You can call out from a different number other than your cell phone. You can have it set to record all the calls coming in. So you can check if your manager is actually picking up the phone, how they're greeting the residents. You can set it an auto attendant. So when they call in, it's welcome to Sunnyside Mobile Home Park. and you can also with the next Steva have faxing electronically so you can send and receive fax through your email. Next Steva costs anywhere from twenty dollars up per month depending on how many phone numbers you have, 800 numbers, that sort of thing. It's an excellent uh, company. We've tried out a couple different ones over the years and they are by far my favorite as far as phone numbers. Number five is Asana and that is A-S-A-N-A dot com or on the App Store. Asana is kind of, the easiest way to describe it is like a task management list and how it works is we have a separate project for each park. In that we have different lists of tenant issues, property issues, things of that nature and what you can do is you can set tasks like okay go do repair at lot number 20 and you can assign this to different people with due dates and then once they finish they can mark it as complete and they can also attach photos to it you get email reminders uh, there's so many cool things you can do with it mainly it's just to track things to do in the park and I mean if you're like me it's so hard to remember the 50 things you got going on and especially I mean multiply that times 10 you know or even more yeah, it's easy to, to lose track of things so every time we have any type of issue to do we add it in Asana assign it to somebody and then make sure it gets done Asana is free and they do have a paid version but really especially if you only have one or two properties the free version works just fine number six is Evernote Evernote is basically just a note-taking tool. It's you know for personal notes or what I do it also is I have a separate notebook for every park. I just take notes for myself, things I want to do that maybe I'm not ready to add into a sauna or as I'm uh, just taking over a park or doing diligence on it, I put every note I can think of in there. I also have a separate notebook for parks that I'm pursuing. You keep notes about the owners you talk to, what they talked about. I just, it's just useful if you don't have any uh, notebook taking uh, application then it's a great one to have. Number seven is Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. So this is what we use for a test ad and check out the due diligence podcast if you have not. This is when you post an ad to see the demand for a park. It's one of the most important things you'll do during diligence. This is, tells you whether or not you have a good location or not, if there's demand for your product. It costs nothing to post an ad. You can promote it, but you really don't need to. Uh, the other thing that we use Facebook for is we make a Facebook page for the parks. This lets residents find it. You can post when you have homes or lots available and it gives you an online presence so when someone types in mobile home park in your city you're the first results Google really likes when there's a page uh, associated with your property again this is all free to do number eight is Google products now there are several I'm gonna go through each one of these here quickly first is Google Voice and this is what we use for disposable phone numbers and basically this is you get a Google Voice number put it on your test ad you can track how many people call into a park it goes directly to a voicemail they leave a voicemail you can track that number two is Google Sheets this is essentially Microsoft Excel but it's free you can it's cloud-based everything's online you can share it with other people collaborate I use it when I do my underwriting I have all my spreadsheets in Google Sheets number three is Gmail 
one benefit of it over other email services is you can schedule out emails. So if you want to send one out tomorrow morning or in a week, you can schedule that out. One neat thing you can also do, if you use uh, email faxing like through Nextiva, you can schedule out faxes. So you get an email attachment, the, what you want to send, schedule it out for whenever you want it to be faxed. Another thing you can do with Gmail, there's an extension called Streak, S-T-R-E-A-K. It's free as well. You can track emails through it, so you can see when someone opened an email, where it was opened at, what city and state, what time they opened it, how many times they opened it. It's pretty neat. Another Google product is Calendar. This is what I use to set reminders as far as following up with park owners. Anything else I do with my schedule, I do it through Google Calendar. The next thing is a search listing. So every park as well, you want to have a listing on Google. So when you type in name of your park, city, it'll bring right up there with pictures, the park phone number, directions. It also really helps, especially if you're trying to fill up a park. You want to have a, an online presence so people can find you. Next item is Google Drive. This is a cloud-based storage where you can store files. We have in there a list of all our management forms uh, and I will share it with park managers and things of that nature and it's also free. All those products are free. They have paid versions of it but you mostly you're fine with the free versions. That's pretty much everything we use to run, like I said, our 10 park portfolio up to 500 uh, lots about to close another park another 122 space one and still growing <laughs> if you enjoyed the podcast please leave us a review on itunes it helps out the show if you would like any of uh, more information on things i've just mentioned feel free to email me abraham at capital com. until next time make it happen Thank you for listening to Capital Cash Flow. For more resources and information on investing with us, find us on social media or at capitalcashflow.com.